Good morning. I'm out here at the Urban Homestead while uh, cleaning up my computer the other this morning. Yesterday and this morning, I ran across some video footage that I did several years back before I actually started this channel uh, where I was putting together a rainwater catchment and storage system. And I, in reviewing that footage, I realized I missed some details and I really needed to give you guys perspective as to what these videos were are all about. Uh, we're in the process of putting the household in order for us to go full time in the RV and you know cleaning up some stuff the rainwater catchment and distribution system is going to be disassembled and sold um, so i just there were some details that I, I either didn't shoot footage on or i've lost the footage so i wanted to cover that uh, and some improvements that i've made since that footage was shot the heart the most the thing i'm most proud about is the windmill now I've got detailed video on how this whole assembly works but it does work it will uh, with a 10 mile an hour wind it'll move about 60 gallons an hour maybe not quite that much but it doesn't require any power to operate and the reason I needed the windmill was because a lot of my rainwater about half of the system is stored down here. Now it is a mess, no doubt about it. I'm a, I'm a little bit of a pack rat, I don't deny that. You can see I've got a 250 gallon tote that's actually fed by this line that runs up to cistern 1.0 and we'll walk over there and take a look at that in just a minute. But the one detail that's missing is how I configured the horizontal catchment. Now you gotta look past all my junk there, but as you can see, I put the barrels on a horizontal rack and tied all of the bungs together with three quarter inch pipe. And a top, the top bung is the, the air vent. Now this one, is fed off from a downspout here and that actually connects to those two downspouts up there and the windmill will pump the water into the water tower and when it's full, it'll feed back into the cistern. Now, there is a pipe that runs from here all the way down the fence, way over there to the garden area. And uh, I guess that would be cistern 4.0 because that was the fourth one I installed over there. Now, I also feed the pond, the bog garden. Of course, the, I had a fungus that took out all of my carnivorous plants. Those carnivorous plants did a great job of keeping the bugs under control. But this year, the bugs have been bad because the plants are all dead. But the rainwater now is primarily to keep the pond full. And this is cistern 4.0 as you can see i have two barrels standing on end with vents and there is another pipe back here another set of valves and they feed to there's a beehive cistern 3.0.2 the cistern 3.0 that you see on the video footage actually sat over here 
and uh, I did a little reconfiguration and installed my free hot tub. Yeah, that hot tub was free. But cistern 3.0 was right here at this downspout. And I just relocated it. I ran the three quarter inch pipe, buried it, and it feeds those three cisterns there. And it's all connected to the rest of the system. Now the, that cistern sits higher than that one and 1.0. Uh, so I don't need to move the water. I just open a valve and it'll gravity feed downhill. Now when I've got cistern 1.0 full and the others empty, the windmill is necessary to lift the water up to garden level. Now, that pond that we just passed, here let me show you, this pond actually is filled with rainwater and overflow from the HVAC system. And that's done by that pipe right there. I just leave the valves open and the condensation from the air conditioning system keeps the pond full. When the pond is overflowing, I close and open a couple of valves and this cistern will fill. This cistern is built just uh, on the same premise as 1.0 in that it's a horizontal barrel with a catch basin. Uh, it's very efficient. A light rain, a quarter inch of rain will fill uh, the whole system pretty much. Of course, I've got a lot of, a lot of roof space, a lot of, a lot of area to catch the rain. So the one thing that I'm most proud of is the windmill. Now I searched high and low for a small garden style windmill that actually pumps water and the only thing I could find were decorative ones. Uh, and so I spent several, several a day, a night, trying to figure out how to make this thing work. And uh, I came up with a, a working solution. If you guys have any questions about how you know I did it that I don't answer in the video, hey, just shoot me a, put a message down there in the bottom and let me know. All these videos are gonna be connected in one play group. So in the upper right hand corner, you'll see a little card pop up. You can click on that and they'll all play in the order that I loaded them. That's not necessarily the order that I shot them in but they're all there and i'm happy to answer any questions about how i did this if you got any anyway I, if you like what i've done give me a thumbs up subscribe help me get uh, a little higher up in the rankings on youtube for those of you who are loyally following my channel i appreciate that and here in the, the near, well, in the future, I won't say near future, but uh, soon we'll be going full time on the road and the, the type of videos that I'm making will, will change. But you'll know when that happens. I'll keep you posted. Thanks for watching.